Hello boys and girls. Today we'll be talking about measurement, converting units. We're focusing on customary measurement. As you know, there are two systems of measurement. Customary units used in the United States and metric units used by the rest of the world. Today, we'll focus on customary units of measure and how we convert them. When we look at customary units, the customary units for length are inches, feet, yards, and miles. The customary units of capacity are ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. The customary units for weight are ounces, pounds, and tons. In mathematics, converting means to change a value or expression from one form to another. In measurement, converting means to change from one unit to another, such as moving from inches to yards. Let's look at converting using customary measurements. When converting using customary measurements, we must use the divide or multiply method. In this method, the rules are simple. When moving from a smaller unit to a larger unit, divide. And when moving from a larger unit to a smaller unit, multiply. Remember now, boys and girls, that knowing the facts for customary units are very important. The customary facts for length, mass, capacity, and time can help you when converting customary units. To help you remember these facts, listen to these jingles. To remember the customary units for length, here is the jingle that you can sing. 12 inches in a foot, 3 feet in a yard, 5 to 8 oh feet a mile, you know measurements are style. To remember the customary units for mass, here is this jingle. 16 ounces in a pound, 2,000 pounds in a ton. Tons are bigger than pounds and ounces are the smallest ones. To remember the customary facts for capacity, listen to this jingle. Two cups in a pint, two pints in a quart, four quarts in a gallon, we're capacity profiling. Now, when we look at the units of time, the facts for time in customary and metric are the same. So listen to this jingle to help you remember the time facts. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, we do in measurement our way. 7 days in a week, 52 weeks in a year, 365 days in a year. Let's do the measurement chair. Wasn't that fun? Now, you need to pay close attention to those facts when dividing and multiplying customary units. Let's try to convert using customary units. Remember, when moving from a big unit to a small unit, we multiply. And when moving from a small unit to a big unit, we divide. So, let's try to convert quarts into gallons. We have 13 gallons and we want to figure out how many quarts this is. That means we're moving from gallons, which is a big unit, to quarts, which is a smaller unit. That lets us know that we are multiplying. So, we are multiplying 13 by... Oh no! What are we multiplying 13 by? Well, this is why it's so important for you to know your customary facts. The customary facts for capacity will help you in this situation. Most importantly, 
the customary fact that converts quarts to gallons. There are four quarts in each gallon. Therefore, I'm multiplying 13 by the factor 4. Let's multiply 13 by 4 and see what we come up with. 4 times 3 is 12. We regroup. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 gives us 5. That means that 13 times 4 is equal to 52. That lets us know that when we're moving from 13 gallons to quarts, there are 52 quarts in 13 gallons. Let's try another one. How about if we have 492 inches and we want to know how many feet this is? Remember when converting that if moving from a big unit to a small unit, we multiply. And if moving from a small unit to a big unit, we divide. So let's look. We're moving from inches, which is a small unit, to feet, which is a larger unit. That means that we are going to divide. So I'm dividing 492 by Oh no, I don't know what to divide by. Well, it's very important that you know your facts. Here, the facts for length are very important, especially the fact that says that there are 12 inches in one foot. That means that I'm dividing 492 by 12. So, let's divide that, boys and girls. 12 into 49 goes 4 times. 12 times 4 is 48. When we subtract, we are left with 1. Now, we bring down our 2 and our number is 12. 12 into 12 goes once. 12 times 1 is 12. When we subtract, we're left with 0. That means that 492 divided by 12 is equal to 41. So when moving from inches to feet, there are 41 feet in 492 inches. What about if I want to move or figure out how many minutes there are in one week. Oh boy, this sounds confusing, but it's really not. Remember again, when moving from a big unit to a small unit, you multiply. And when moving from a small unit to a big unit, you divide. Let's try to convert. I want to move from weeks to minutes. That means I'm moving from a big unit to a small unit. So I'm going to multiply. I know that there are seven days in a week. So I'm going to multiply seven. But what am I going to multiply it by? Well, once again, this is why it's so important for you to know your facts. The facts for time will help you solve this problem. But this problem is a multi-step problem. So knowing more than one fact is very important. The facts 60 minutes equal one hour, 24 hours equal one day, and seven days equal one week will help us to solve this problem. Because I'm moving from weeks to minutes, I know that there are seven days in one week, I know that there are 24 hours in one day, and I know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. 
So that means that I must multiply 7 by 24 by 60. Let's begin with multiplying 24 by 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Regroup. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 2 is 16. Now, I take my product 168 and multiply it by 60. 0 times 8 is 0. 0 times 6 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. I place a placeholder and begin multiplying with the digit in the tens place. 6 times 8 is 48. Regroup. 6 times 6 is 36. Plus 4 is 40. Regroup. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 4 is 10. Now I must add both partial products. 0 1s plus 0 1s equals 0. 0 10s plus 8 10s equals 8. 0 hundreds plus 0 hundreds equals 0. Here, I have nothing to add my 0 to, so I bring the 0 down in the thousands place. And because there is nothing to add my 1 to in the ten thousands place, I bring my 1 down, which gives me a product now of 10,080. That means that when I'm moving from one week to minute, there are 10,080 minutes in one week. Remember, boys and girls, when using customary units and converting, if you're moving from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you must divide. And if you're moving from a larger unit to a smaller unit, you must multiply. This lesson was created by Miss Antonia Bay.